Hey friends, happy Friday. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Friday Night Live. It is May 28th and every Friday on this channel, I do reseller community night. It's an opportunity for resellers to come together and talk about their week in reselling. We share all sorts of tips and tricks for selling online. I have been selling on eBay for about 10 years, mostly fashion, clothes, shoes, accessories. I've been on Poshmark a few years and I sell on Etsy. If you are joining in the chat, please give us a check in with your name and where do you sell? What do you sell? And maybe a little bit about what's been happening in the world of reselling right now for you. Give me kind of a weekly check in. How are things going? What is selling? How are sales? What are you noticing about your business? I am so out of breath. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I literally just ran up here because I was opening a Jomar wholesale box and I wanted to record it for YouTube and I was trying to squeeze it right in before the slide. Do you guys ever do that where you're like, I can get this one thing in? And it was an enormous box from Jomar Wholesale. If you don't know, Jomar is a wholesale. They sell um, stuff online. And it's my favorite place to get inventory for my reselling business. I have a link in the description section if you want to check it out. Well, I got a J. Crew box, which is amazing. How does J. Crew sell for you? I put out a video um, just a couple months ago, and it was like my best selling brands online right now. And J. Crew is way up at the top. They had a 40 piece J. Crew box pre-owned and new with tags. It was awesome. So that video will be edited and up to you probably within the next couple of weeks. And that's why I'm out of breath because I was running to get here on time and I'm looking at an enormous, enormous pile of J. Crew clothing that I get to sell online for profit. It is such an awesome, awesome gig, isn't it? So grab your drink, your beverage, your tea, Join in, introduce yourself in the chat, and I'm going to say hi to some friends. And then let's talk about what is going on in the world of reselling right now. What's working for you? What is a challenge for you? What are you working on in your business? What goals do you have? Um, there's a lot going on, so let's check in. I see Thrift Holla saying, see you at 5 p.m. I set my reminder. Oh, she was here at 417. Wow. The chat opens. And people like to get here and get their spot and get settled. So I'm so glad to see you. Welcome, welcome. Holly is here saying, hey, I was trying to find this. Um, and she said, everyone's on vacation time already, not getting in here on time, LOL. That's our friend Holly. Michelle's here from Shell Zoo's Gifts, Michelle's Closet. Hey, y'all. And look at her um, picture for her username says, she believed she could, so she did. I am all about that, friends. Alana's here. So great to see you. What's going on with you, Alana? I've been enjoying your comments on my other videos. This week, I put out a um, thread up denim box. That is another great source of inventory for resellers. Thread up has these things called rescue boxes where they put in things that didn't sell on their site or they won't take. And you can buy them pretty cheaply and they come to your door and it's a big, huge box. It's DIY. Um, but this was a denim box. I put out that video this week and I must have done another one, a thrift haul. So check out those videos. Oh, Terry's here saying, hello, everyone. I hope everyone had a great week. What do you guys think of Memorial Day weekend in terms of being a reseller? So it is May 28th. So Monday's Memorial Day. There are lots of things happening. I know Jomar Wholesale is going to do free shipping. Yay! Shipping for me is really expensive because I'm in California, so a lot it's coming all the way across the country. Are you going to run any kind of sale or promotion in your store? How, as a reseller, can you use Memorial Day to boost sales or to market or to do something cool? It's an opportunity, right? Oh, Thrift Hall is in Sacramento. I'm so glad you remind me that. Um, cause that's not too far from me. And there's a bins there, right? Beth Tillman is here. Let me say hi to some folks and then let's get this thing going on. Deborah Anderson, Deborah, I just want to shout you out and say, you are an awesome community member on this live. I've been doing this live on Fridays for what? 
eight months or something. Most almost every Friday night. I've only missed a couple times. And Deborah's here and she's awesome. And I just appreciate it. A nice little super chatty chat from Terry at Evolving Always Productions. Quemby, I hope your week was awesome and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. Please make sure you are subscribed and following Terry on Instagram. She's also on Clubhouse and she's everywhere and on YouTube. She has an awesome channel where she interviews a lot of different people, you guys, and it's always informative and she's just a, a beautiful human being and she puts out great content, really inspiring stuff. Lindsay's here. Hi, everyone, says Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. I love following her on Instagram because she sells stuff for a lot of money. Like she has a really good eye and finds stuff that sell for a lot. Like I, I'm really inspired by that. But that is here. Hey, 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 everyone from rainy, cold PA. Really? That's one great thing about California where I live is you get to a certain point and it's very rare you're going to get rain. Like we don't get rain in the summer. There's a few historic times that it happened, but you can count on an outdoor event because there's no rain all summer. Okay, let me just see. Um, yeah, I, I was a couple minutes late, you guys, because I was <laughs> opening a box and then I was like, ah, I got to get some water. I got to set up. I was trying to get a little bit too much in there. Margaret's Market is here. Good to see you. And here's James, the antique boutique. James, in a minute, when I finish saying hi to everybody, let's do a little plug for you and your new project. Put it in the chat so I remember. The turquoise revolving closet. I changed phones to my business phone. It's Sandy. Oh, hey, Sandy. Tell me about your name. The turquoise revolving closet, because I'm a turquoise girl. I don't have as much on of it. I, uh, on as much as I often do, but I love turquoise, but I'm curious about your name. Tell me also in the chat, or if you were watching the replay in the comments, how did you choose your username? And did you ever change it or did you just choose one and keep it? And what was involved in your choice? Because that's also for a lot of people would say it's my brand. You know, as resellers, we have stores and closets and, um, brands and logos. And so coming up with a name can be significant if you want it to be. And it can be helpful if you want it to be. So well, how did you come up with your name? I chose the Grateful Queen. I didn't really know exactly what I was going to be doing um, with my business and YouTube and all that. It was kind of, but I knew I wanted to have a Q in there because my given name is Quen B. And so my whole life, it's been associated with Queen B and Queen. So I was like, I got to have the Q. And then I chose grateful because gratitude is my spiritual path, my practice in life. Um, and I wanted to put that out into the world more. But from a business standpoint, is it the best name? As a reseller, I, I think I maybe should have put something in there or could have about reselling like, the word resell or thrift or, you know, something that indicated what the business is. So a lot goes into it. Tell me what your thoughts are. I said hi to Margaret and Babette and James and Alana. Zoe's here. I'm seeing a ton of Memorial Day sales on Poshmark. That's a good reminder. Like maybe I need to go check out some sales. Barbara's here. Barbara says, I told myself that I wouldn't buy anything else until I list 100 items. But... Then I saw a 15 piece mixed jewelry box from ThreadUp. I bought three. Sigh. <laughs> I know, but sometimes you gotta be smart. Like, it's not like you were out like sourcing and going thrifting when you should have been home listing. Like, that was a good business choice, in my opinion. Like, okay. Um, but I get what you're saying totally, too. Tell us about selling jewelry. Beth says, key lime pie and beer and Quemby and friends. Sounds like it's Friday. I know. Hi, Melissa. Great to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I said hi to Lindsay. Oh, gosh, everything moved by really quick. Uh, so I miss like, here's reseller Wendy. Hey, my favorite reselling peeps. Great to see you, Wendy. Which reminds me, I'm still trying to organize to have uh, a few guests on one of these Fridays. Should we just do it like next Friday or the following? I know I'm going to have, I think, Wendy and I think Mickle Pickle Pie and I was going to ask Terry if she'd do it because she hasn't been on yet. I like to have people from our community, the regulars, because we chat with them every Friday and I want you to see their faces 
and hear their voices and get to know each other. That's how we build more community. And we usually do a giveaway. It's like a fun night. So uh, let's get that going. Someone's going to remind me. <laughs> I know I have it on my, my radar, but I just haven't planned it. Keely's here. Great to see you. I noticed you've been showing up the past few weeks. I appreciate it. Show up and um, be seen and get to know your community. It's friendship, it's coworkers, but it's also really smart networking for business, you guys. I can't tell you how much the relationships with people in this chat have helped me business-wise as well. So it's really smart. JoJo's here, love seeing you. Did JoJo messaged me with an eBay question this week. How did that go? It might have, might have been last week, but how did the eBay thing go? So we chat says rainy Friday in Boston. I'm originally from Boston. I'm going back in June. Okay, okay. I'm saying my highs and then I see some good questions here. So let me just, Melissa and Thrift Holla and Barbara Babash. How are you feeling, Barbara? Give us an update. I know a lot of people are thinking about you. Said hi to James and Margaret and Candace. Hello, I'm glad to make it to the live. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Uh, I just got an Instagram message. So Terry will join us. Great. So I'll have, um, if it works out, I, I, I'll give the date in the next, either next Friday or the one after, how about? Um, but I'll make sure no one has conflicts. And so we'll have Wendy, if she can do it, Mickle Pickle Pie Meredith, and uh, Terry. And then maybe if Holly wants to come on, she's our giveaway person. So we all find something to give away. Don't sweat it. It can be a pre-owned item. It can be anything, um, just a way to give back to our community. And it will, what goes around will come a around. So, so give, give, give. Amy King is here. My store is Westwind Emporium. Westwind for my neighborhood and Emporium because I sell a little bit of everything. See, that's awesome. That's really smart. And when I hear Emporium, I'm like, oh, store, interesting stuff, eclectic mixed stuff. So that's really was a smart idea. Secrets of Wanderlust reselling. Hey, everyone, glad I finally made it. Good for you for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, they've been here the last uh, few weeks, so that's cool. They're stepping into the community. I love seeing that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm saying, did I say hi? JD, did I say hi to JD? Hi, everyone. It's Jessica from Ohio. I got my Zara and Topshop box from Jomar already. I think it was pretty good. I'm a very new reseller, so it's difficult for me to discern what is good and what is bad. That is such a, I love that you're here and you're learning. I think it's so smart. A great way to learn is to watch YouTube videos, watch what sold videos and watch haul videos from people that have been selling for a while that can say, hey, this is brands to look for. This is styles to look for. There are so many great tips, but it's a great way to get started. Because when you get a Jomar box or another wholesale box, usually the cost of goods is kind of low and you, you can experiment. So um, that's fantastic. I'm glad you're here to learn and uh, grow. All right, let me see what else. is. Oh, Goddess Threads made it. Hey, great to see you. And Cam XO. Hi, Quemby. Hi, everyone. She's been showing too. It's Leslie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Leslie's here, a reseller's passion. Hi, Quemby and friends. Happy Friday. Most of you are probably all following Leslie at a reseller's passion on Instagram and YouTube. But if not, get on over there. She's got a ton of information. She is a brilliant businesswoman and a good friend. She and I just did a live video last week or the week before on summer slowdown. Is anyone starting to feel the effects of summer, summer slowdown now? If you're new, summer slowdown is that historically for online resellers, sales tend to slow down in the warm months, June, July. By August, end of August, they're picking up. So don't worry if that happens. It's kind of normal, but do everything you can to um, keep your sales coming. There's lots of things you can do. Yvonne Wilson is here saying, hey, from Virginia, Yvonne7456. Great to see you, Yvonne. I'm glad you're here. Okay, here, James, a member of our community, the Antique Boutique. I started a YouTube channel. The first video is up. It's a collab with Amy, the rainy day shopper at Antique Boutique. And notice the spelling on that on YouTube, obviously. 
So go on over there and subscribe and leave a comment on the video and say, hey, I came over from community night. Oh, reseller Wendy said, I was able to actually grab a Goodwill jewelry box tonight. So those of you that are selling jewelry, let me know in the chat. Oop, I've got a little blip there. I think I'm back. Let me know in the chat. Do you sell jewelry online? If so, maybe you can give us a few tips. I've sold some and like a tip I might have is, well, I've got a lot. I could do a whole show on it, but it's like the benefits of selling jewelry are sometimes um, you can get it really cheap and it can sell for a lot. It's also really easy to, to store and ship. But there's a lot to know about selling jewelry. Um, one tip I have that I learned is that if it has a brand on it, it's much easier to sell. It's much easier to sell a J. Crew necklace than it is an unbranded piece. You can still sell it if you learn your keywords. But maybe those of you who are selling jewelry can educate some of us that might be curious about learning a new market. And what could we know about that? And it sounds like getting jewelry mystery boxes from Thread Up and Goodwill might be a good way to go. Tell us what you guys think. All right. Deborah Anderson says, my eBay store is essentially new. Maybe sometime I'll try to change all of my reselling related social media stuff to that as my username. I love that username. And I do agree with you, Deborah. 40 friends watching, please make sure you have hit that like button. That really helps out my channel as I try and grow in this business. And if you are watching the replay, make sure you're subscribed because otherwise you don't get notifications about live events. So Deborah just made a really good point and I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. What do you think about having your um, name be consistent across all platforms? So many of us use other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, um, also for our business to let people know if we're having a sale or to showcase items we have for sale or to get them over to YouTube or to our Poshmark closet. I personally think it's a great idea to have them all unified. Then people can find you across platforms. But then I think you might also need your own personal Instagram or Facebook. So my Instagram is only for reselling, the Grateful Queen. That's all it is. And if I want to have a personal Instagram, then I'd have a personal one. But what do you guys think about that? Hey, Donna from Lucky UBT. Great to see you. Um, all right. Leslie says, I sell vintage and handmade jewelry. See, there's a whole nother market, right? The vintage market of jewelry. Leslie has been um, selling a lot more vintage and learning a lot about vintage. So check her out if you're interested in that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. There's so many comments. It seems like mostly you guys are talking to each other. Cam XO has a question. Has anyone had anything authenticated by Poshmark before it shipped to the buyer? I bet Lindsay has because she sells expensive stuff. I have not had that, but if you don't know, um, Poshmark has a free service that they do. I believe, correct me in the chat if I don't have this right, I believe if an item sells and it's for $500 or greater, it first goes to Poshmark to be authenticated. And once they deem that it is authentic, they send it on to the buyer, which I think is awesome. It's like free authentication service. But does anyone have experience with that? Um, okay, Barbara says... Jewelry advice. Don't pass up jewelry that isn't sterling or gold. Lots of costume jewelry are expensive. Julie Voss, Anna Beck, Nadri are just some. See, see, it's like learning a whole new thing, which I get very excited about because I've been reselling 10 years. It needs to stay interesting for me. And I'm, I'm constantly trying to learn new things. And um, I like that. Like when I got into jewelry, this was a couple of years ago, I started learning the different like pendant shapes. Is it oval? Is it square? And there's all sorts of keywords that go along with the jewelry market. And then you can learn brands. So it's a great, it's a great way to educate yourself. Alana about the Poshmark authentication said $500 and up. Yes. I've never had anything even close to that price. I know. I think 250 might be. And Lindsay says, um, I knew it would probably be Lindsay. 
yes, I've had pieces authenticated by um, Posh. So let me know if you had a further, like a specific question about that. Reseller Wendy said, I sold a ring for $1,700 and it went through Poshmark authentication. No issue. I would feel relieved personally. And Holly said, I just sent out an Hermes scarf today that sold for 500 on Posh. So I bet it's going to go. So maybe you can report back. I think it's kind of great. I would rather have Posh authenticate it. And then the customer can't come back and say, I don't think this is real. Because even if it's, even if you, like I've been selling on eBay for a long time. At any point, a customer can come back and start a case and say, I don't think this is authentic. And that's going to hold things up. That can put your store in jeopardy. They might like freeze your store for a bit while they check it out because you're not allowed to sell fakes. You know, you have a case. It could make things sticky. If I had something that expensive, I would probably use an authentication service online, like authenticate.com. It's like 20 bucks. You send in all your pictures. They ask for details. And then you get a certificate of authenticity. That's probably what I would do if I had something that expensive. <clears throat> Zoe said, yes, I've had a lot of things go through Poshmark authentication every time, except for once it was really fast and they have authenticated everything I have sold that way. That's awesome. What did you sell for $500? What are you people selling for $500? Holly said an Hermes scarf. That makes sense. And reseller Wendy had a ring. And Wendy also said, I, I sold a Heidi Doss flawed costume jewelry for a hundred dollars sold pretty fast too that is awesome that is so good what are you guys selling jojo said entropy i saw an ad for this a free authentication app has anyone used it i have not seen that um Okay, let's see. So Joe said, hi, all. I missed the last two weeks. I just came back from sourcing some good items. So I am psyched. What'd you find? What did you find that you are psyched about? Secrets of Wanderlust Reselling said, ours are the same and they coincide with our travel channel. Ooh, so that makes sense. So that must be the Wanderlust part. So is it like travel and reselling? I love that. I still have a fantasy of doing like a thrift uh trip like a thrift road trip although i just don't want to sit in the car <laughs> i want the road trip part but maybe not too far because i just don't love sitting in the car anymore for hours and hours and hours but pd has been wanting to do more road tripping and i've done so much i have traveled myself across the country back and forth four times so i've done it i love it it's an awesome experience but now i just want to go to a nice resort <laughs> and like you know relax i don't really want to sit in the car for 10 hour drives, but I want to source in some other places. I think like that whole thrift to travel concept is really fun and exciting. I think, let me see what I might've missed up here. Holly, will you put something in the chat about the, um, mystery boxes donation thing? So I can make sure I read it correctly to people. She's doing something great that I want to support. Barbara Babash says, I'm pretty much back to normal. Well, as normal as I am. Thank God, I'm so glad to hear that. Barbara uh, Babash has been going through uh, cancer diagnosis and treatment, and um, she's a fantastic member of our community. So glad that you're doing well. Okay, let's see. You guys are talking to one another. Let me see if there's anything up here before I go back down. Uh-huh. Oh, Antique Boutique said, I'm still waiting for two Jomar boxes. Shannon's picks. Did you get yours, Quimby? No, James. So um, I just to be transparent and honest with you guys, I've said this in all my videos. My favorite place to get inventory for my reselling business right now is Jomar Wholesale. Hands down, I love what I get. The prices are good. However, be prepared. Shipping takes a long time. It just does. I've noticed... If you're getting pre-owned items, it can take a month or two months. The stuff that I get that's new with tags, I get really quick. That's just my experience. Really quick. I mean, they're in they're in Philly and I'm all the way in California, so it has to get across the country. So maybe it's like a week or 10 days. Quick. Um, thread up is much quicker. But Jomar, they're now saying on their listings, expect 
28 days or more for an order. In my opinion, it's worth it. I don't need it really fast because I'm always thinking ahead. I'm always thinking, what's the next inventory I want to get? So I ordered like my swimsuit boxes like in the winter, like in January, February. So I'm always thinking ahead. That's a, a smart thing to do as a reseller. Like I'm, I'm already thinking now about my fall. Do I have jackets, sweaters? What can I get? Um, even though I'm listing summer stuff now, like shorts and sundresses and swimsuits. But Jomar Wholesale does take a long time for things to get here. So try not to worry or be too upset. They, they now send out emails that say, sorry, your box is taking so long. I have so many things on order, um, but that's okay. I just know it's going to take a month or two when it gets here, when it gets here, and I'm excited. And I like what I'm getting, and I like the cost of goods I'm paying. So it works for me. But, you know, check out. Check in with yourself and say, would that work for me? Can I order a box and put out a few hundred dollars of my money and know the box isn't going to come maybe for a month or two? Or would that be too frustrating for you? If that's the case, then maybe that's not the best place to get your pre-owned inventory. But it's awesome that they have pre-owned. Like, I love that I can still get pre-owned and new with tags. Where some other wholesalers, it's all new with tags, which means a little more expensive. It's just different. So, um... Deborah said, I hear people say that they're picky with J. Crew, but I swear everything J. Crew I pick up sells. Me too. Me too. I mean, I'm going to um, look at style. Like if I'm out thrifting and something looks like a dated style or something, I'm going to pass. But if it's a current style and it's J. Crew and I can get it inexpensive for like three, four bucks for like a top pants, I'd pay more for a dress. I'd pay more for black label J. Crew. So I have this huge pile here. Are you guys familiar with the different J. Crew labels? There are J. Crew labels that are factory, which don't cost as much. They have like three little diamonds or two little diamonds. I don't really care about that. But black label J. Crew, um, it just has a black label with white lettering. That's higher end stuff, better material, so you can get more money for it. But I sell even the I sell J. Crew, but I'm, you know, I'm comfortable buying something for three and flipping it for 15, 18, 20. So in that range, everything sells. Lindsay said, Grateful Queen, I sold a linen J. Crew dress on eBay for $75 in two days. How do you get so much money for your stuff? I swear, you are really good at, um, at high average sale price. How do you do it? Let me see what else is happening down here because I like to swim around. Thrift Holler, who's in Sacramento, California, said, yes, there's three really good bins. It's one person per bin. My favorite is the one in West Sac, clean and nice workers. So Sacramento, I think it's like two and a half hours from me. But if my bins doesn't open, I might make a day trip out of it. If I do, I'll get in touch. I don't have any plans right now. I'm just saying. So in case anyone's new, the bins is um, the Goodwill Clearance Center or the Goodwill Outlet. They roll out huge, giant blue bins and you dig through and you make a big card and then you pay by the pound. Mine's been closed since COVID and every time I call, I call like once a month or so, they're still not open. So it's like, I would like to go. I'd like to add it to what I'm doing, but it's been closed. Let me know, are you a bin shopper and what's yours like? I like when you say it's a nice store because my bin store is in a big garage warehouse. It's it's not nice at all. Okay, let's hear this from Holly. She put this in way a while ago, though. Let me see if there's something more current. Um, Let me go down here. Holly, Holly. Oh, my mom is here. Grateful but bad. Hello, my dears. Hello, all my dears. I am a cautious person, so always would want to be sure that what I was selling was real and true. So I would want to authenticate. Good, good point. Stephanie's here from Living for Naps. Hey, people. So glad you made it. If anybody else joined in and I didn't say hi, please leave another comment. Like, here's my partner, PD. Happy Friday and Memorial Day weekend to the group. Congrats, James on his YouTube. James has been saying for a while he wanted to do a YouTube channel and he took the plunge. So, wow, it's a big, and well, you can do YouTube however you want. You can do a ton of content and say, I'm hitting this hard. You can do, you know, a video once a month. Do it however works for you. See you in a bit, babe. 
Zoe said, I don't like to drive on vacation. I'm looking for Holly's chat about her boxes because I just want to make sure I say it right. And she probably put it in here, but I'm telling you, I just have this chat going down the side of my screen and it moves like boom, 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 because you guys are so awesome at leaving comments, but they get all mixed up all over. That's all I can say. Okay, anyway, I know that Holly is selling uh, mystery boxes. Hopefully she will leave her uh, Poshmark closet in the chat. You can also find her on Instagram and all the proceeds from the boxes are going to be donated to veterans um, services, I believe. Uh, and she's doing it through Memorial Day. So that's an awesome thing that she's doing. I bought a box. I'll probably unbox it for you guys for fun, but I love to support what you guys are doing if I can. And, um, also, when you're doing something for a good cause, I like to be there and do what I can. So um, leave that information in there, Holly, so that we can find you um, and find those boxes. Candace said, I ordered a mature wound box from Jomar. It came in a little over a week. I also got 40 pieces instead of the 30. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. And please, if you are able to use my link, or my discount code, which is the Grateful Queen, all one word to get 10% off. Then I earn points. I can, it's like a win-win. So I really appreciate anyone who uses my link. It helps me out also. So that's really exciting. Thank you so much. Zoe said, the wait for Jamar boxes is just too long for me. And I don't have the patience, but I agree, Quemby, that they do send some good stuff. That's awesome. Totally respect it. You just have to know where you're at. Like, if you need a box soon and you're, you're like, shoot, I was counting on that box, that might be frustrating. I would just say to myself, I'd like to order one of these Jomar wholesale boxes. I heard they're great. I know it's going to take a long time. It might take two months and I'm just going to be cool with it. That's the way I'd say. But some people get them fast. I'm just saying the longest box for me, I think, was like two months. And they sent me some emails and I checked in with them and I was okay with it because I knew it would be good. That's my favorite box, the women's mature box of pre-owned stuff. They, they just get some awesome brands. It also depends where you live. I am across the country from Jomar. It's going to take a long time for it to get here. If you live on the East coast, maybe it's not going to take, um, as long to get to you. Beth said, so who was listing today? I have been photographing and listing all afternoon. That is awesome. That is the real work of a reseller list, list, list. Um, Alana said they used to have two bins, but they never reopened one, which sucks because it was the closer one. I know I have one like 25 minutes from my house. Like it's, it's not nice, but I've got some amazing stuff. I have some older videos on the channel, probably from like a year and a half ago or more, you know? So, um, but my bins are hard. Reseller Wendy is saying, Holly, did you ever post the vintage boxes? Because I never have seen them. The turquoise revolving closet. How does everyone grow their channels? I will try just about anything. I'm stuck at 40. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this question comes up every week. And I don't feel like I'm necessarily qualified to answer because my channel is at, I just hit around uh, 3,000. And it's taken me almost two years. So I am not like, <laughs> I'm not a channel that you can look at and be like fast growth or it's all organic growth for me. Um, so I do have a million and one tips, but I don't want to take over the re this video with it. I could try and make another video, but I'd feel a little vulnerable because people might say, why are you qualified to make this video? But I can share my experience. I've learned a lot. If anyone wants to do like a coaching session or something, I'd be happy. I don't know that I'm the very best person, but I'd be happy to tell you what I did. I reached a thousand in less than a year. That's what you need to do to get monetized, get to 1000 subscribers. Then you need 4,000 of watch hours. So I did that process in about one year, which I think for someone like me who had no following, I had no Instagram. I had nobody knew who I was. I'd never been to Posh Fest or eBay Open. Total outsider just doing it from scratch. 
so I'm happy to share information, but, um, Holly says, oops, this one came up. Hey, Veronica. Oh, it just moved. Holly said, I have not been overly active at trying to grow my YouTube. I just make videos when I can. If you are promoting and doing a scheduled video. I, I mean, there's just so, so much. There's so much that I could say about that. I could take up this whole, this whole live with it. Okay, here we I'm looking for the Holly stuff. Here we go. So Holly is selling boxes. Mission 22, an organization that provides services to help veterans at risk of suicide. So that's perfect. Um, I knew there was another part. It's veteran services, but also at risk of suicide. Some of you know that um, my other job is as a psychotherapist. So I love any kind of suicide prevention. So if you buy a box from Holly, it's $25. She will profit on Poshmark $20 and she'll donate that $20 to Mission 22. So please go over if you feel like you can afford to spend 25 bucks on a box. You'll get some bread and butter stuff and she can donate that. Don't expect those boxes to be like gold because that wouldn't make sense. They're going to be bread and butter boxes. So um, let's see. I was looking for her... Um, Poshmark Closet. James says, please subscribe to my channel too if you want great content to come. That's not just hauls, but other valuable info. See, James is putting it out there and that is a great tip. That is a great tip for um, how to grow your YouTube channel. Again, I'm not the best person to speak. I, I think I've got a relatively small channel, but I'm very happy with what has come with my channel. I'm very grateful. It's, it's more than I ever thought. Um, and Putting it out there is huge. You have to be able to market yourself. You have to be able to show up on Instagram and say, here's my video. I'm putting out a thumbnail. You have to engage on Instagram and YouTube and other people's um, comment sections. Genuinely, just keep showing up. Like some of you are going to have a leg up because people already know you. you. You've been engaging on there. Like James, for example, He's been engaged in the community for a long time. So my guess is he might grow faster because people know him because he shows up on other people's YouTube videos. He leaves comments for people. He's engaged. And so people that already know him are going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll come over and subscribe. Right. So engaging with the community, I think, is one of the best things. But the other things about growing a reselling YouTube channel is you need to understand YouTube and how it works. So YouTube is a business, a YouTube channel is a business, and you need to know how does YouTube work. So that means how do you make titles and descriptions and thumbnails that people will find your videos. So understanding the YouTube algorithm and all that, it's just like selling on eBay or Poshmark, but for YouTube. So there you go. Evolving Always says, for those wanting to grow your YouTube channel, look at what great people are doing. Check all of Quemby's videos out. It will give you direction. And I notice evolving always productions. I notice you were over 200 subscribers. That's pretty quick growth. I mean, it might, I don't know how it feels to you. I always felt like I was slow, but, um, because you show up and you do lives doing lives with other people is great because then people that know them will come over. Here's my other big tip collaborations, collaborate with other people that have a channel your size though. If you have 200 subscribers, find other YouTube resellers with 200 subscribers and or, or approximately, give or take, and ask them to collab. Do not go with somebody that has 10,000 subscribers and say, hey, I have 50. Do you want to collab? That's not the right. That's not the etiquette. It's like you need to find people who are about the same place so you guys can help each other. And then you'd, you go like that. Um, that's something that I learned along the way. That's just the way it's done. So let's see. Alana said, I don't think my YouTube channel will help with reselling. And that's my focus. I'm not trying to make money on YouTube. Good point. Um, Barbara says, I've been winning auctions on Shop Goodwill today. I think people are taking the time off so they're not bidding. Really good tip there, Barbara. So Goodwill has many things online now. They have a website called shopgoodwill.com. I love shopping on there. I have been off of there. I haven't been on as much, but I have many videos on my channel where I'm showing things that I got there. 
I buy lots, like lots of women's new and tag clothing. I've bought a lot of plus size stuff. I've bought reseller boxes. It's also a great place to cherry pick. So <clears throat> if your best selling brand on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, if it's Lululemon, you can go on Shop Goodwill and search Lululemon and bid on auctions or lots or buy things outright. Um, I have some videos with tips though, because there are a few tricky things about their site, namely shipping and handling costs to watch out for. So if you want tips on how to shop there, I have videos where I'm buying stuff, but that is a great place to get inventory. So I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, let's see what else is going on with you guys. Hot handbags resale. I'm sorry. It took me a minute to get over to your comment. Thank you so much for being here. YouTube tips are nice for us newbies. So maybe I should do a whole video. I mean, or maybe I could do a group. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm happy to share what I am learning, but I'm very much like you guys learning and trying really hard to grow. And so, you know, um, I'm happy to share. I have learned a lot along the way. I don't know what the best format is for that, but JD said, I ordered two more Jomar boxes today, even though I don't know really what the heck I'm doing yet. It was just too much fun opening. This could become a terrible addiction. I did use your code, Quimby. Thank you so much for using that code. Yes, just be careful about, here is the tip for a new person and for all of us, a reminder, you need to be listing and selling more than you are shopping and shopping. So it's like, get that stuff listed. Like Barbara Bosch was saying earlier, she said she put herself and she said, until I get a hundred listings up, I am not going to buy more. And that's really smart. Like make sure you are sitting down and listing those items, you know, so that you're not just taking in a bunch of inventory, get that stuff listed, 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 listed. Beth Tillman says, I just stumbled on Quemby's channel. I think I ca it came up on my feed. Yeah, so if you're somebody that watches, um, but it's not stumbled. See, that's the thing that YouTube is a machine, an algorithm, just like Poshmark or eBay, right? So what happens is Beth Tillman probably watches a lot of other reselling channels. And so then every once in a while, YouTube will test out my content and they'll put my thumbnail next to the others to see if she'll click that and she clicked it and she joined and so it's like oh good that sends a message to youtube hey this might be good content so they're gonna put your content out to people who watch similar things that's where having a really good thumbnail is very important i really don't like my thumbnails i just don't know what else to do <laughs> anyway <clears throat> Zoe said, Alicia at Murray Life just did a video of 10 resellers with less than a thousand subs to check out, which was so awesome and thoughtful. I'm stuck at 37. Yeah, um, that is awesome. <clears throat> a lot of you guys have this, um, have this YouTube question. So I don't know, message me on Instagram. If there's something I can do to help, let me know. The only things I can think of are is I could do some one-on-one -on -one sessions and um, I did that when I first started out because I knew nothing. And so I did a couple coaching sessions where somebody taught me some very key points and that was invaluable. That was invaluable. Sometimes you have to invest a little bit in what you're trying to do and grow. Becky Park is another one. She has a course. It's kind of pricey, but um, I think it's $250. She has a course where she's teaching people how to grow a channel. That's a pretty big investment, but um but I would consult with other people like, okay, you guys, there's many of you in the chat right now that said they have a reselling channel and they're like less than 100 subscribers. Why don't all of you find each other on Instagram and get together and do a little collab and, and um, do a collab video, like a thrift haul collab or um, some kind of collab because then you're 40, can go over to someone else's with 40. I did so many collabs before I was at 1,000 because you're just trying to hope that you can get some people to come over from the other. So collabs are a great way to go. Um, but, but get together with each other and share what you know. Time to thumbs up, said Thrift Hala. Thank you. Make sure you do that thumbs up. That helps me as I try and grow this channel. So 
Cam XO says J Crew Black Label sounds fancy. I was I was looking to see if I had a piece right away. Yeah, it's just a black label and it's very expensive. Um, Holly is talking to my mom. Says Grateful Mama in the house. My mom shows up. She doesn't even resell. Sometimes she um buys stuff for me to sell because she knows what I'm looking for. Um, so. Now that we're we need to we need to get out there thrifting again. I have some videos on the channel of my mom and I thrifting, and they're really fun. Oops, a little blippy there. Secrets of Wanderlust reselling said yes. Our shtick is we travel and travel to thrift. We're doing a bins of America series where we're traveling to all the bins. Is it okay to donate a box for giveaway night? Absolutely. That would be amazing. Message me on Instagram if you want to donate something. I'll do that next Friday or the one after if the people I, if Terry and Meredith and Wendy can do it. Holly, do you want to help us with the giveaway? She's so good at that. I just don't think I can do the chat and um, talk with my guests and try and do the giveaway. So I need a volunteer for that, please. It's really fun. And then next time you could be on and then you might win something or you can give something away. I think it's fun. It's really fun, don't you guys think? Ooh, Beth said, I picked up ski bins yesterday. What are ski bins? I missed that. All right, what else is happening down here? Let's see. What is happening with my people? Oh my God, now I can't get rid of that comment. You guys, help. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm doing on YouTube. <laughs> oh God, it's way, way down here. Okay. Oh, Holly says, yes, I'll be the random number generator. Oh, Lisette made it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you guys see? Um, hey, Lisette. At Posh is my purpose and New England Betty Boop. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification and hit that thumbs up. I posted a picture in honor of Lisette today <laughs> on Instagram. I'm at the Grateful Queen on Instagram. Come find me there. And it's a working out picture because I was on Lisette's live. She was doing an Instagram live. She's an amazing human in our community. Definitely follow her at Posh is my purpose. And she does a lot of working out and health stuff and reselling. And she was talking about, you know, on the live, about especially as we age, needing to stay fit and eat healthy. So I've been going to the gym more. And so I did something brave for me, which was post a picture of myself at the gym. And I'm like, I just felt so vulnerable doing that. Like, and she does it all the time. So I'm like, I'm, you're so brave. I admire you. Like, you know, most of us at the gym have our messy hair and our, you know, it's like, so I, I did a little kind of, I tried to do a little pose, but I feel really self-conscious taking pictures at the gym anyway. So I put it on there and then I had that little vulnerability hangover. Like, Ooh, this is weird. Other people do this all the time, but I don't, I think that's really good. I think it's really important to feel vulnerable and take measured risks like that. But I'm very inspired by Lisette and her journey of health and weight loss and all that. So I wanted to um, I wanted to honor her with that. Agnitska's here. What do you think about quick, quick lots boxes? I personally have not bought a box. Um, I have done a little research. So you could search on YouTube like quick slots boxes, unboxings, and see what people have to say about them. Uh, they're pricey, so it's like a, it's a much bigger investment. Um, that's so funny. Alana says YouTube is sending me weird recommendations now because I watched the Graveyard Guy. <laughs> See, I know I get the funniest recommendations on my YouTube. Some are really appropriate. I watch two kinds of content: reselling and um, like spiritual, inspirational, motivational, like my people. And, but my son, Torvald, he watches like gaming, Minecraft channels and all this stuff. So I get the weirdest mix. Like they must think I'm such a weird mix. Like I should get him his own account. Um. Anyway, great to see you guys. So glad you guys are all here. Thank you for being with me on Friday. Living for naps, Stephanie Quemby, have you been happy using Prime Luster? Yes, I'm using everybody. I'm like a total slut. Like Anybody that can help me with my reselling business, come this way. I'm using Vendu. I'm using a lot of stuff. And my Poshmark sales have really improved. You need to share on Poshmark, in my opinion. Not everyone agrees, but many, many times a day, three, five. My friend uh, Nicole said she shares seven times a day. And I'm like, wow, I'm slacking. 
So um, I have a video about Prime Lister. I have a discount link for 30% off. Check it out and see if it's right for you. But I will accept all the reselling help I can get. And they're awesome because they have cross posting and Poshmark sharing. I, could, I should do a video on that. Um, oh, there's something going on there. Sometimes you guys are just chatting, so I don't know where to. Okay, going back down. I don't know what's happening. What's happening? Beth says, my husband watches gaming and comedy channels. Hopefully he's got his own thing. Hunter Ryan said, I'm using closet tools and Vendu. So I haven't heard of closet tools yet. There are a lot of different tools for your reselling business. I think anything is great. Um, let's see. New England Betty Boop says, you did great, Quimby. It was my first, like, fitnessy post. I think I post, I go to yoga with PD every weekend. So I think I might have posted a yoga picture, but I don't think I was actually doing yoga. I think I was just at yoga. This is like Jimmy. But I'm going to try and do it more because anything that makes me a little bit vulnerable like that, I'm like, hey, this is probably an area where you need to grow a little bit, you know? And I like when we share our whole person, like we're resellers, but many of us have, many of us have other jobs and other things about us and other things we do. And I, anybody that I follow and I'm really, you know, in order to get to know you, you need to show yourself as a holistic person, like all the many sides of ourselves. So I like seeing the different stuff. Veronica said, getting my workout in now. I'm really trying. It's like, I've got the, um, I guess people are calling it like the COVID-15 or something. Like I, I've been walking, but it's not as active as I've been in my life before. So it's like we just weren't moving as much. So I'm trying to get back into it now. I did I'm doing those horrible machines in the cardio room. <laughs> Polly says, I got several ski boots last year and did not get them listed. So they're gonna be ready for this year, though. Beth says, my daughter in Baltimore thrifts for me. We found an authentic vintage Chanel sweater for $8. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Does she send you a box of stuff, or how does that work? Sometimes my mom would, like, be out thrifting, and she'd take a picture and be like, do you want this South Surroundings dress for 10 bucks?" And I'd be like, yes. Um, so she knows brands that I like. My mom has a really good eye, so if you can get someone out there like that, you know. And sometimes I'll sell stuff for my mom, and then, like, she profits, and that's totally fine with me. Keely said, I personally love watching newer, smaller collabs and being able to find a few newer channels all at the same time. That's great. Support everybody. What does it hurt to subscribe? Like, I just I just go over there and subscribe. I leave a comment. I put the like. It doesn't, it's free. It doesn't hurt anybody. You know what I mean? It's like, and, and it really helps someone who's trying to get up to their 1K. It takes a long time. So support everybody. Subscribe to everybody. 55 watching, only 26 likes. What? You might have to reduce your screen or do whatever, but I'd appreciate it if you hit that like. Zoe said, I'm really good after a Goodwill or Bins haul. I just bang it out and I list everything and I don't try and space out my listings, but I do try and list at least one new thing every day. That's amazing. If we could all be more like Zoe, we'd be making a lot more money. Like in, in my opinion, I know there's lots of ways to make more sales. In my personal experience in 10 years of reselling, more listing equals more sales. I just did kind of an experiment last month. I did a video about it and I said my eBay sales are up 43%. They were up 43%. And the reason why I detail in the video exactly what I was doing, because there are a few different things, but I was listing every day. I used my tracker and I listed five items a day every day minimum. And it was like, boom. I mean, I saw the immediate change. I haven't been able to keep that up like last week and this week because I have a lot going on in my other job and my psychotherapy practice job. You guys, did I tell you that that channel has reached 1K? So um, I have another channel called The Grateful Therapist and it's all about mental health. So I do videos on grief, anxiety, working with teenagers. And that channel is kind of like an anomaly because I only have 12 videos over there and I've only been over there for like six months and I don't do anything on that channel. And it's grown really quickly where this channel, I've put a ton of content out. I'm on here every day answering comments. I put two videos out a week. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I think there is a lot of competition 
with reseller channels now because everybody has a reseller channel. Five years ago, you could you was hard pressed to find reselling channels. And now more people are being encouraged to have a channel, which is awesome. If you've got something to contribute, do it. If you've got something to say, but there's a lot of competition now. It is not like it used to be. Where my other channel is growing like boom, 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 and I'm doing hardly anything. I'm using the things I learned on this channel. I'm using great titles and SEO titles. I'm using good thumbnails. I'm using good tags, all that stuff. But um, it's growing really fast, that one. Thank you to any of you who went over there to say hi to me over there. I do appreciate it. I, I will put more content on over there. It's just a lot for me now. I'm more committed to this channel because I know you all and I have a community over here. That channel, I don't, you know, it's totally different. Hey, Alicia's here. We were just talking about you, Alicia. Some people were saying they really appreciated that video you put out um, uh, suggesting people to follow. That was probably really generous of you. She's awesome. We've done some collabs in the past. I haven't done one in a while. Have to cook up another one. Christy Blocker's here. Where, where? I didn't see her come in. If I missed anyone, please leave a note. Hi, Christy. Hey, family. I still, every time I see you, I think merch, merch, merch. You should do it. You should do a Hey Reselling Family merch t-shirt or bag or something. Alana said, I had to give up my weekly yoga when I got a job finally. Yeah, I'm really trying. Lisette said, I'm using closet tools and lists perfectly. I have not heard of closet tools. So I'm a, I've been a Vendu girl. You know, they're probably, they're all great, you know. Um, reseller Wendy said, you look adorable, Quimby, and your hair is cute. <laughs> you are so nice. I, I could do another little vulnerable personal sharing that's not necessarily about reselling, but I could tie it in. Um, and that is, oh God, I don't even know how to get into this one, but I have a lot of beautiful clothes like this free people dress that I love. And it's got like this gorgeous little tiered skirt. It's just so cute, but it's not very flattering. IE, it doesn't, in my opinion, look good on me, but I'm so tired of like looking in the mirror and being like, this doesn't look so good because I've gained weight. A lot of us have, um, I'm healthy. I'm eating well. I'm walking, but, um, I'm just so tired of it. Like I want to wear the clothes that I love. So I'm like, I'm going to wear things that make me feel good. And I love, but not necessarily look good on me. Or for a lot of us, for women, it's like, does it make me look thin or does it accentuate a part of my body? I like and decentuate something I don't like. So I'm trying to be like, you know, I want to wear what I want to wear. I went out and I was, and did a little bit of retail arbitrage. I didn't make a video about it, but I could. Um, I went to TJ Maxx because I'm looking for a few very specific for people dresses. <laughs> like I need more, but I want some long ones because that's really on trend right now. If you are out, you guys thrifting and you see long tiered maxi dresses, buy them. They will sell. They're expensive. I've been looking online. So I went to TJ Maxx. I picked up some dresses for myself and a few that I could sell. So that's what I do. If I sometimes go to a store like that, I'm like, buy a few things that you can flip to pay for the dresses you want to buy new. I don't like buying new tags. I prefer to thrift and buy on Poshmark, but the stuff I want is way too expensive right now on Poshmark. So um, I got some beautiful long dresses that may not make me look thin or young or pretty, but I love the dresses, so I'm going to wear them. So this is going to be my summer. I'm going to really try. I'm saying it out loud vulnerably to you guys of like wearing what I love and things beautiful, even if it doesn't make me look perfect. No, nothing. <laughs> okay, if you're a woman in the chat and you relate to this at all, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to be like, quiet. <laughs> oh, Lisette says, yay, congratulations. Um, And, oh, babes at home. Come say hi. You guys want to meet the babes? I tell me how he's wicked quiet, though. It's like, I'm like, oh, and he's like very still and quiet. So on camera, he's going to look like he's half dead, but I swear he's alive and handsome as anything. Oh, it's so nice to get divorced, you guys, and find a nice, handsome boyfriend. Oh. Hey, babes, come say hi. Living for an app says, I love your other channel. Yes, yeah, sorry, I have a trap. This is my partner, PT. I'll scoot over. He's tall. My husband was short. My boyfriend of it's three and a half Friday years. Friday night. Got to start. Friday. 
Zoe says, Quemby, you are so right. There are a ton of reseller channels now and competition is stiff because there's just so much great content, hands down. And if you're struggling and you're like, why can't I get to 1K or I'm stuck, like many of you said, at 40 or whatever, there are some things that you can do to change that. I know I did. Like I had to do some very active, specific things to change. And I'm happy to share those with you. Um, but a lot of it is that there are so many channels to choose from. Why are they going to choose my channel and not his channel or her channel? You really have to do something different or better or whatever. And it's way more competitive. So if you're having a hard time, it's because it, I think it's a competitive channel to try and do. You might need to find a twist on it. You know what I mean? I don't know what you guys think, but hello, Peter, says Lisette. And Alicia and Murray, like we've done a bunch of collabs. Quemby, my husband is the same. He's not interested in being on camera. I've seen your husband in a couple, though. You guys did that video where you were like, watch out, babe. This is like a small person space, and he's six feet tall. So I have everything, like, tucked around and little, and he's all. <laughs> I'm making, like, traps for you. My Alicia saying hi. In the background, uh, twisting knobs and adjusting things. <laughs> Thrift Tala says you two make a cute couple I don't know if any of you guys know my story um, and this live's going to end soon so I won't get into it now but you know I've got a story of like, like many of you have shared with me long marriage painful agonizing divorce new boyfriend that you fall in love with and things are easier and great so it's been a, it, it's a, been a uh, process so um but Beth says, totally relating, Quemby, looking for the loose, comfy baby doll maxi dress. Exactly. Guess where they are, Babette? TJ Maxx. Because I've been all over the internet trying to buy them for myself, and I did, and then I got them, and I'm like, I spent $45 on this dress, and it doesn't look good. I went to TJ Maxx. I bought, like, six dresses. They're amazing. I love them. Several of them are free people. I'll share them with you. Thanks, babe, for saying hi. What are we doing dinner? Mm, love you. Mm-hmm. So um, I got several free people dresses, you guys, at TJ Maxx right now on clearance for $35, which I know is expensive, but these are the same dresses that I was looking at that people are selling for $125, so I think I can easily make the $40 that I spent on my dresses. So if you're going out doing some retail arbitrage, look for brands and styles that are hot right now, summer dresses, long maxi dresses, you're going to make money on Christy Blocker saying hi, babe. And Babette said, it's so good to see Peter. Somebody was suggesting, I forget who it was. Oh, it was Roxy. Remember Roxy? She hasn't been here in a while. She's in nursing school. She's like, you need to do a show with your bar your partner because everyone's curious about PD. And I'm like, I could try and get him on there. So I was suggesting to Lisette, her husband, Andrew's awesome. Maybe Leslie, maybe they do like a couple show with me or something alive. So Zoe said, I've been wearing some great thrift pieces while they are listed and waiting to sell. And that has been super fun. Oh, but aren't you afraid you're going to like spill your coffee down them and then they're listed? That's my biggest fear because I, you know, I spill stuff like I'm a, you know, I'm all over. So I'm afraid I'm going to like hurt the clothes. Christy said, Quemby, my lawyer emailed me today and told me she is sending my divorce decree. She released today. I am sending so much love your way, Christy, and I love that you shared that with me. Message me on Instagram if you need any support. I've been through that, and guess what? I was really ashamed and embarrassed to talk about my divorce because I'm someone who really believes in marriage, and I did everything right. I waited until I was ready. We had a perfect marriage. We bought a perfect house. We had a perfect kid. We had, you know, and and uh, it is devastating, and um, and there is light on the other side, I will tell you that, but it is a process. The best book I read was Conscious Uncoupling. That got me through. So sending some love your way. I had a cry when that happened, even though it was, you know, I knew it was happening. So, oh good, but that's gonna go to TJ Maxx. Send me some pictures on Instagram. I can send you the ones I got. I'm like, I need the tiered maxis. Everybody's wearing them, but I could, I, they're so expensive right now. So guess what? You could go buy some and then sell them. Even if you made 20 bucks on each one, you'd be making a good profit. Polly says, let's have Pete giving you a flying lesson and then you giving him a... <laughs> no, Holly. Did you hear that, babe? He says he likes it. So Petey likes to fly in little planes, which I will never do. 
but I did teach him to sell on eBay. Thrift Taller said, I have the cutest pink tiered skirt, all different shades of pink. I made the mistake of trying it on. It's mine now. I know that's like the worst reseller mistake, right? It's like, don't try it on. I know I do that all the time. But then what I try and do, I don't know if this will work for you. I pull a few things out of my closet. So I'm like, all right, I'm taking these new four dresses in. I will go in and pull four items out and I'll sell them. So I feel like I'm like, I'm not just hoarding and, and being selfish and being a stupid reseller. I'm, I'm like moving things along. So, oh, Chrissy Blocker sending you some love, 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 love. Beth said, my husband is listening. You guys are making him anxious. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Stay married. I believe in marriage. But sometimes there are circumstances um, that things happen. Ollie said, happily divorced. Going, going, going to be 20 years. Yeah. Okay, friends, I better let you go because I've gone a few minutes over because I let babe come on and I got so much joy out of it. Maggie says, I've gained so much weight. I had to buy all new pants and I put all my old ones up for sale. Yep. And guess what? And then when you're ready, if you decide you want to lose the weight again, you just recycle it around. That's the great thing about being a reseller, right? You guys, because it's like, I just move things along. Like you just bring things in, bring things out, constantly moving. It's okay. It's okay. Um, okay, friends, I love you so much. This was an especially fun one. I'm so glad you were here. I'll get in touch with people to either see if their schedule works for either next Friday or the one after. We'll have the group one where we'll do some giveaways and you'll get to meet some of the people. And it'll be so fun because you'll be like, oh my God, that's reseller Wendy. She's on there all the time. And now I know her. And then you'll be on next time. I've already had two or three of these. So um, I keep doing them like every few, every quarter or something like that. So we can build our community. It's all about building your community for two things, friendship, relationship, support, encouragement, and also business, because we can really support each other in our projects, whether it be YouTube channels, great deals on mystery boxes, supporting anything that you do. So I love you guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you on Sunday with whatever videos coming out then. Bye.